Hello and welcome to episode 10. 10! Of Drinking with Double Disney. Digits. Yes! Double digits! We're yep. celebrating! We are. Uh, for tonight's episode, we watch Pocahontas from 1995. Very problematic movie. A super problematic movie. So racist. Yeah, crazy <laughs> racist. Um, also, tonight we had a, 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 a friend watching with us, a guest. You might hear her chime in from time to time, and that's uh, Cousin Kaylee. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as always, we do have Penny the Hype Girl and Chubbs the producer bopping yeah, around the apartment. He's bopping around. You'll probably see them. Yeah. Um, okay, so we always start off with our drinking game rules. Yeah. Um, so whenever someone says savages, whenever someone, or whenever the color leaves, whenever a song starts, um, whenever someone mentions gold. Um, Which is a you, lot. Gold's a lot. Gold's a lot and savages is a lot. Mm-hmm. Whenever you Savages see, is also part of the problematic portion of this movie. Yeah. Whenever you see Grandmother Willow drink, um, whenever John Smith, we call him J.S. So J-S. whenever we say J.S., just know we're talking about John Smith. It's pretty self-explanatory, but just in case you needed training wheels, um, whenever J.S. takes off or puts on his helmet. Yeah, that thing's off and on constantly. He's always like, top of the morning to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tonight I'm drinking, as always, my favorite Cottage Springs peach vodka sodas. They didn't have any watermelon. I was it's, so upset. It's been a hot flavor this it's summer. It's a so hot flavor. Yeah, and I was going for the Lost Craft, my favorite brewery. And uh, this tonight, I was going with the Unify. The Unifies are my favorite from Lost Craft. Great, great Personally. summer beer. It awesome for like, uh, it's it's a great summer beer, right? It's a really like light, like tangy. It's a great beer to drink when it's like super hot outside. Yes, right? like yeah. today, which was like the first nice day in for fucking ever. Right, like in forever. In yeah, fucking ever. Kaylee yeah. agrees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the movie starts off. Um, with these guys and honestly in the opening you drink like a million times yeah before before, before the opening credit scene really even happens like you drink a million you know, times so much mention of gold gold savages john smith touches yeah. his hat john smith keeps touching his hat yeah helmet. constantly <laughs> yeah his helmet, hat, helmet hat, whatever. hat or helmet whatever yeah. you want to call it he keeps touching it and it's fucking annoying he can't keep his hands off of it really. no he can't it's kind of like a dick just yeah. kidding! <laughs> um, so it starts off, they're setting off to go to this new land. Yeah. And honestly, watching this movie as an adult made me a little bit upset. Yeah. Um, and it kind of yeah. made me a little bit woke and opens my eyes. I feel like I'm a little bit ignorant when it comes to like thinking that bad stuff like this happened. But they're just going into these people's homes and like yeah. killing all of them. And one thing that's... Yeah, yeah, like they're ruining the world. Like yeah. people ruined everything. Yeah. You did ruin everything. Did. Um, and one thing too is like some people do catch like flack for like problematic roles or whatever. And I know Mel Gibson has gone through his shit and he plays Jon Snow. But Christian John Bale. Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Jon Snow, yeah. <laughs> Got the Game of Thrones This is on not the mind. G.O.T. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, we don't even no. watch that. Oh, no. yeah, but yeah, that name is so prevalent. It is. Um, but, we don't uh, even watch that. I don't think I've ever seen, like, oh, Christian Bale. Remember that time he was in Pocahontas? He's like, one of the Thomas. most problematic Disney movies ever. Yeah, he yeah. is Thomas, the, like, younger guy yeah. who's, like, kind of like Mel Gibson's, like, intern, yeah. almost. Not to, not to put Christian Bale on blast, because I'm sure he fucking watches this. I'll watch this. It's a yeah. really popular thing that people watch. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, we see the uh, the colonizers coming on the boat first, and then and then we see the natives, and then we see Pocahontas, the Aboriginals. Who again? What is with these Disney princesses having homies that are animals? She probably smells. Really What's bad. with Disney princesses and rodents? Because she hangs out with like, a rodent. Yeah. She's so lonely. Well, but like, think about rodents are lonely. Think yeah. about like Cinderella. She's they friends with are. all these fucking mice. Yeah. Like she probably smells like mice shit. Right. So true. Yeah. She's so, a human mouse. Pocahontas yeah. smells like raccoons. She's got yeah. to. And garbage. They're yeah. garbage animals. Yeah. yeah. Well, now they are because the white people fucked everything up. Yeah, yes. For sure. Maybe they, they were in a stinky back yeah, then. Exactly. Yeah. You're right. 
<laughs> you're so yeah. right. But anyway, all all nice. she's friends. <laughs> she's friends with this bird and raccoon. We yeah. see them. And, like, you just see all this beautiful land and, like, it just yeah. looks so nice. This pristine the place, environment, like, right? Pristine. They're so pristine. What is that from? I have no idea. Something. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> it is. Um, so we see Pocahontas and we see her friend. What is her friend? Nakoma? Yeah, Tacoma. Or Tacoma. Or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Who, for something some like weird reason... Her face reminds me, and her voice kind of sounds like her Gabrielle Union. So I'm just going to refer to Pocahontas' friend as Gabrielle Union. I think Gabrielle Union is rocking yes. the bangs right now, too, right? Yes, I, like I think that that's girl. why. Yeah. Like, she kind of reminds me of her. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to, whenever we say Gabrielle, that's who we're talking about. Yeah. And then she dives over the waterfall. And I'm sorry, but one of your nest, next notes here <laughs> just says... <laughs> Fuck. No, it says flick. Oh, it says That's flick. The name of the bird. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought it said fuck too. Yeah, no, it looks like it just says fuck. Oh, so I we have go no off idea. of my notes and yeah. I write like so fast when yeah. we're watching the movie. So <laughs> no, the bird's name is flick. Yeah, the bird. Yeah, the hummingbird. Yeah, not. Fuck. Yeah, his no. name is not fuck. No, I didn't think his name was fuck. I just saw. I just thought you just wrote a note that just said <laughs> fuck. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Not quite. No. Fuck the bird. Fuck yeah. the bird. <laughs> yeah. If you're into that. Still not a blue. Yeah. That's, if that's what you're into, I'm not gonna hold it against you. I, just, I am. I I'm just, gonna hold it against you if you're I just into don't, fucking I birds. I just don't want to be your friend. Ah, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> We're um, little tips. Yeah. So then, uh, yeah, after the, the waterfall, like, after she does the big dive off of the... After Gabrielle tells her to come swim with her, she dives yeah. off the waterfall, which, yep. honestly, you would injure yourself. You would die something from how high up she's jumping uh, she's and got, diving. She's got pretty good form entering the oh water. Oh, my God. Let's be realistic. Yeah. She, she makes, like, a very little splash. I think she'd get, like, a, that's, like, a 46 out of 50, right? No splash. No splash. Mm. No um, but then she, <laughs> she, uh, she, un they end up canoeing back to their village. Yeah, but they tip the canoe before they go back, and I always thought that the under the canoe scene was so cool. I don't know why. Like just watching it, I'm like, I remember this and remember thinking it was so cool, and I wanted to do that. So I yeah. feel like we, my parents have a pool. So when I was little, I used to like flip over we had like a a blow up like boat. a little floaty yeah. yeah and i used to flip it over and go under that and yeah kaylee i grew up with kaylee she's my cousin but she like grew up on my house essentially and like i used to flip it over and be like this is like pocahontas because <laughs> i wanted to be gabrielle union who doesn't want to be gabrielle union right she's beautiful and amazing <laughs> and she's married to wayne wayne to Dwayne Wade? To Dwayne Wade. Right. I mushed it all together. Yeah, so then she goes back to her village and um, meets up with her pops. And then we get, like, the classic we Disney We see the hunky dad. guy. Yeah, and and then, everyone uh, loves him. Coke one. Yeah, and then after we see him for the first time, we see the classic Disney dad. I'm going to pimp out my daughter scene. This is a really big problem we have every week. We're it's, like, it's, why are you trying to pimp out your teenage child? It's such a recurring theme in these movies that, like, I didn't realize how prevalent it was. Like just just looking back until we rewatched all of them. Yeah, right? it was because it was so normal back then. It was so yeah. normal back then, but this is from nineteen ninety five, so it wasn't like that normal. I Pocahontas know. in real life so in real life, Pocahontas yeah. is only ten when this whole thing happened. When she first meets John John Snow. John Smith. Stop saying John Snow. We don't even you watch know, Game of yeah. Thrones. No, but like everything I have seen on like, you know, social media, Twitter, John S is like John Snow, it's right? J.S. Knight is it's John Smith. 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 Yeah. Could have got a VA. Right? Um, no, but this is the whoring the out scene. So scene. This is... I just wrote daughter whore scene. Yeah, and it is like every single, every Disney movie where there where the main character is like and a Disney only, princess, there is a whoring out scene. And she's right? only eighteen. Why? Yeah. Why? 
One, I was still in high school when I turned 18. Well, I mean, life expectancy, like, especially in this movie, which is set um, in the early in 1600s. In the 1600s. Um, life expectancy was probably, like, 60 tops for a rich person, maybe? 70? I don't know. I don't know. So not, not too long. Like it's pushing it. Not too long. No, like 50, well, I feel no, well, like. No, when I was looking up, doing some quick Google fact-checking, uh, I looked up John Smith, and he died in his early 50s. So he would have been a like a wealthy, obviously white dude. But yes, in in real life, she was only ten when they invaded. Right when and they first John came. John Smith yeah. was twenty seven. Invaded is definitely the right word. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm always. I feel right. like like you because whenever you Snow. read it, it's like oh the the colonization. No, it's let's let's say the invasion, the invasion, right? the invasion like and the genocide like yeah. it's awful yeah. it's so awful yeah. i don't know why they made a kids movie about this to be honest and they tried to make it seem nice. they tried yeah they and tried to like sweeten it no yeah. because they want us to like thanksgiving yeah right yeah thanksgiving, thanksgiving in the is states a- is such a bigger deal than it is here i feel yeah. like totally yeah it's and like it's the just, Christmas. Oh, yeah. it's just, it's oh, gross. this movie. I can't believe this is a child's movie. But anyway, we watched it and we drank. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. But during the pimp out scene, it's like she gives the classic Disney princess response, being I like, no, be on my own. I want to do my own thing. I want to fall in love or whatever. It's always the um, spirit. And she also Every mentions something about not, um, <laughs> like, not wanting to kill the invaders, which in in the movie it's almost presented as her being like woke. Her she being is woke. Like, she's she's a eighteen year old woke native woman. Just knows her shit. You know, like we need to all be bound together this is amazing yeah. da, 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 and everyone else is ignorant no but in the story of the movie her like wokeness that's presented in the movie like makes sense but in reality that's not the <laughs> the no, uh but we position will, they we will taken. get to yeah. that yeah. we will we will uh, but anyway also during that whore out scene um the father gives pocahontas the her mother's necklace yeah, and I, I honestly didn't know she wasn't wearing it from the beginning. Mm-hmm. I forgot that it's like a gift for her. Yeah. So, and I, my question is, why does Disney have to kill off one of the parents every single time? Like, yeah. every time. Or both parents. Like, in Little Mermaid, there's only Triton. And then there's no parents for Prince Eric at all. I wonder if it's because Walt Disney didn't. Oh my maybe, god. Maybe. Kaylee's gonna Googling. do a quick <laughs> yeah. Google fact check about and if Walt Disney in, had um, parents. In Cinderella there's no parents. Is, is there? There's a stepmother. Her mom dies and mar- and then her no, dad the, marries the evil stepmother. The prince the has prince a father, has a dad. A father, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like everybody. There's has only one ever one. Parent. There's yeah. only ever one. It's always yeah. like I don't want to say a broken home because that's not, it's not necessarily a broken home if somebody passes away. But you know what I mean when I'm break. saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like of I'm course, saying, like yeah. yeah, one of them passes away. It's a bit of a broken home. Yeah, it does break. Yeah. So then after she gets the necklace, um, she you know goes off canoeing again, and that's when we get uh, just around the river bend. <laughs> okay, wait. You skip the fact that I wrote down woke a haunted. We talked about her wokeness. You said she was oh, woke, yeah. but you didn't say woke a haunted. Yeah, She's yeah. woke a haunted. Yeah, she is woke a haunted. His parents didn't die. Like they both died. Like his mom. Whose parents? Uh, Walt Disney's mm. dad oh. died when he was 82, and his mom died when she was 70. So oh, was so, late. okay. He but had he, parents. It says, Walt Disney was haunted by sadness and guilt over losing his mother in a tragic gas leak. So wow. Oh. I guess Interesting. Can... So, Walt Disney did wanted everybody else to feel sad, apparently. Yeah, I guess. Like he was, like, projecting. Yeah. yeah. Kind of sounds like he was projecting. Yeah. Um, Anyways, on Pocahontas' next, like, canoe trip that she, she goes, goes on. just around the river bend. Yeah, and she takes, like the, the, like, the path that she normally doesn't take and then stumbles upon... No, but, oh, the, no, she, but she starts talking to Mother Willow like she's already met her. Like, she knows right, she's no, there. No, she doesn't necessarily go the path 
Let's she's travel. Going to sound she's like going a to see. Path. She's going to see Mother, Mother Willow. Willow, and she's yeah. not. I think she's not supposed to go that way. Yeah, yeah. Possibly because her dad knows that Mother Willow was there. Right, right. I personally think that Pocahontas did acid or something, <laughs> and that's how she's seeing Mother Willow because it doesn't yeah. really make all that much sense. Right. But it's a Disney movie, so I'm not trying to make too much sense out of it. <laughs> Yeah, and then after she sees Mother Willow, then she continues on her, like, solo trip, and that's when she runs into John Smith. Because Grandmother Willow says you're going to see something in the sky that's not normal, mm-hmm. um, that's kind of strange, da, 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 and it's the boats that are sailing in. Right, she, right. That's what she's seeing. Yeah, and then John Smith, like, goes off to explore a little bit by himself as soon as they get there, like, goes up into this tree and then stumbles upon um, the... The raccoon. the raccoon and the name? bird. I, I think it's like Nico. It is Nico, I think. Yeah. yeah. And um, and then finds Pocahontas as well. And uh, John Smith is drawn in such a fashion that his face is just all angles. If you kiss right? him, you would get a cut on your face. <laughs> like it would be like, think. He looks like if like you, you you were trying to draw like the most chiseled version of Owen Wilson. He does look like Owen Wilson, yeah. like so bad. Yeah, he does. Big but time. way more yeah. rectangular, square. Yeah, like everything's squared off, right? And then he also feeds the raccoon. Like, why do you feed became wildlife? That's that you how just they became upon, like, garbage animals. Yeah. Yeah, John Smith started the, the garbage panda movement. He did. Yeah. That's a whole movement in itself. Yeah. And it's because of John Smith. <laughs> um, so he feeds him, and um, we were kind of wondering. He's like looking around, exploring. And we're like, where the fuck are they supposed to be? Because they're coming from England, yeah. Yeah, and then it's um, Jamestown that they were establishing, right? Jamestown, which is in New England. In New England. Yeah. Where's New England? New England's like a region <laughs> of the United States. No. It's in the U.S. That's yeah. what I thought. Like yeah. the New England Patriots, right? right. Yeah. Okay. So that's where they're supposed to be, mm-hmm. and it's just like so sad to watch. <laughs> Kaylee's got a magnum bottle of wine. Yeah. Kaylee, I'm our sorry, guest. I didn't open that. I'm sorry. It's drinking Gallo. Gallo family. You know why? I used to drink this a lot, and the fact that you brought it, I'm very appreciative of. <laughs> <laughs> It's a large bottle. It tastes like a basket of strawberries. It does. It's really good. It's not bad. It's cheap. It's cheap and it's good. So that's what we like. It's cheap and good. Five stars. Cheap and good. Don't (laughs) envy. But another thing that we uh, haven't touched on yet is we do also see Percy the dog. Percy. Who is like this living his best life the entire Hashtag movie, right? Like living my best that life. That dog is well taken care of. I think that that's. I think it's supposed to be the king's dog that they brought with them. Is it? I think that's that's. Is I, that the idea? I, I heard them say something about that. Oh, maybe it's not Ratcliffe's dog. It's not, eh? Because we do see Radcliffe, and he's super about the gold, Maybe right? Maybe it was like the king's test for Radcliffe. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care of the dog. Of the yeah. Dog. Yeah. Also to yeah. get gold. Because Radcliffe, literally, all he cares about is gold. One, I think you should probably care about your health because you look a little bit obese. Yeah, maybe hit the gym. Yeah, not even hit the... Like, just... Just eat better. Eat better. Just you look better. unhealthy, Radcliffe. Yeah. Maybe and you're, he's an alcoholic. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. He's probably got he's as much little... wine as he could drink, right? I love wine. <laughs> <laughs> what is this uh, creeping like a gremlin oh when they go back to the waterfall so then right he sees i'm um, sorry we kind of got off track a little bit john smith sees pocahontas in the bushes when he's when she's with nico and right. that's the first thing they kind of see each other but then uh he goes over to the waterfall where she is and she sees him and she's kind of creeping around like a gremlin or like the girl right, from the grudge right, or like right. from the ring. 
you know, like that kind of thing, like <laughs> crawling on all fours. To Trying see to not him. be seen, right? She, yeah. yeah, but she does get seen. I forgot that he yeah. like almost shoots her. And then yeah. he sees her face and he's like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, oh, uh, I just, I forgot. That part's really intense because he has his gun like lit a little bit and he's aiming at her and then she emerges from like the mist of, okay, mist. Can we talk about the time we went on Made of the Mist and I was standing beside this teenage couple. This girl goes, is that smoke? <laughs> she's no. like, do you think if it's under the waterfall you'd break your neck uh, and he's like yeah um i think so like he was obviously just trying to get laid and putting up with her stupid ass <laughs> but like oh my god the most bizarre questions i'm like where are you yeah. from that you don't know what a waterfall is and that there's mists coming like i was looking at lucas going yeah, no, <laughs> like I could not ridiculous. believe we were it's standing ridiculous. beside these people. He yeah. couldn't hear them. He couldn't hear them. I was on right behind them. It was yeah. brutal. But anyway, that's what that reminded me of. <laughs> uh, where are we? We hit on a bunch of this stuff already. Just trying to shoot polka. Yeah. Polka. Polka honey. Honey. Yeah. Realistically, oh yeah. So oh. then they start talking. Realistically, there'd be such a language disconnect between the two of them, right? Yeah. Like John Smith would not be able to understand her. She wouldn't be able to understand him. No. No. But in the Disney portrayal, they're talking English. Obviously, it's a kids' movie, but like, <sighs> like. But okay, this is, goes back to my question: Why are you even making a kids' movie about this? No, because I, they obviously wouldn't understand each other, and it's a terrible no. movie about essentially a genocide. Like it's awful. I know. I know. It's ridiculous. And from not even that long ago, like in, like I was five when this movie came out. I was only. You know and I know two? the world Honey. has gotten more woke since then. And, and we and all woke, but still, like kids still, movie it's about crazy, this crazy it's shit crazy. is insane. Penny yeah. bad. Um, <laughs> Penny is attacking Baxter and Kaylee yeah. is trying to mediate. Yeah. Um, it just now. makes me sad to watch this Ew, movie. Like. <laughs> when you really get like when you realize stop, like stop. that this stuff hey. happened um it's really sad mm-hmm. um and in the in the real version of the story i think that pocahontas was essentially like a rape victim like it's really awful to think yeah, about no, it's awful and they made this cartoon about it i know it's not great yeah. They tried to, like, glorify they glori- yeah, it. They, they glorified, glorified it and made it yeah. seem like it was all all yeah. daisies and roses tale. when this they is, were done. This is one Disney movie that they better not fucking remake. They can't. They can't remake. Right? Yeah, like, they no. cannot Life touch on this. Is getting on, like, if they do control. remake Pocahontas, it'll... Like, if they remake it shot for shot, there will be problems. Like they There's have already to, problems. If they're... I know there's already problems with it, but if they were going to remake it, it's got to be a completely different movie. Mm-hmm. A movie that, like... <laughs> they, they just shouldn't even do fucking it. do it. No, no it's like, a terrible, they like... Just, they just shouldn't even, even like, do no, it. It's so fucked, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. just shouldn't even do it. Yeah. Um... No, but yeah, and then John Smith also is like, oh, yeah, I'm looking for gold. And she's like, oh, corn, yeah, I've got this, like, yellow stuff. Which is that... actually what happened. Yeah. Like, back in the day. Yeah, because they, like, mm. the white people that couldn't, like, farm on the land at all. They, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so when they re- he realizes there's no gold, he's like, okay. But, like, they're, at uh, this time, I said it kind of reminds me of, like, um, like, children like they're showing each other like hello when oh, speaking right. to each other i'm like this is kind of like this is my wiener <laughs> like this playing is your doctor nipple. Like, like playing doctor like showing each other this stuff which is right. ridiculous yeah so then we cut back to the white men and they just keep on referring to like the um Indigenous. aboriginals yeah. as yeah. savages yeah. and the song savages is so bad we'll get to that later but it's like uh, anyway so they keep referring as savages and john smith actually says something to pocahontas about yeah. savages and she's like what the fuck like she gets so mad and obviously she does because she's like savages. she's savages like yeah. what like you guys are fucking savages are you kidding me for and then real. that's when Colors of the Wind happens, which all three of us agree is it's the, best the best song. song. It's song so good. Oh, for yeah. sure. And it definitely, she's she's making JS 
woke. I think woke is the word of the night. Yeah. <laughs> She's really. Well, because we're so woke on this goddamn <laughs> yeah. shitty ass fucking portrayal of um, like, history. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then it's Colors of the Wind, like waking John Smith up and saying, like, we all need to be together. Like, this is fucked because mm-hmm. you guys are fucked and you're coming in and trying to kill all of us, essentially. Like, it was not great. Um, and then it cuts yeah. back. And who decided that white skin was, like, more powerful than dark skin? The, like, who decided that? The people with the money, I guess. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. That's so weird. It's um, really fucked up. But then we go back to the settlement and we see the amount of trees that they've already cut down and stuff, which is just fucking crazy. It just shows, like, this whole field of, yeah. like, trees, stumps. And then we see Boss Dude again. What's his name? Rat- Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe. And he's fucking super, like... Morning. Like, oh, such obviously like a big and like supposed to be like overweight and <gasps> overindulgent. Oh, I thought it sucked. No, he's like big and overweight and supposed to be like you know excess kind of thing, right? Yeah. But he's drawn yeah, like so many of these other like Disney like bad guys. He's drawn like Captain Hook and like the not um, not Jafar, the but. Guy from Kind of like Jafar. Yeah. Like the the priest or whatever. Oh, yeah. the priest is me, so like their scary. Faces were very similar. Yeah. Yeah. And um, just like just very uh, rich because they were very big. Yeah. So like the main. Good. They're gluttonous. Like the main um, uh, no. police captain dude in Aladdin as well is drawn like that. Oh like yeah, big with in like... the chest, smaller waist, and like weird legs. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Weird legs. Weird, they have weird legs. fucking legs. You know? uh, <laughs> no, I agree, though. They are yeah. drawn pretty similar like yeah. to make them look villainous. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And all these movies came out around the same time, right? Like Aladdin and this movie and Hunchback. Right. And Hunchback. Like, these kids won't know the fucking difference. Right? Yeah, 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 basically. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they're cutting down all the trees and they just put up these fucking fences. Like, what? Really? Why are you cutting down these trees? Literally yeah. 15 It's fences. really awful. Um, yeah, he looks similar to that. Um... So then it cuts to Pocahontas and Gabrielle Union back in the cornfield. <laughs> and yeah. then John Smith comes. Just pops and out. Gabrielle's like, shit, what is he doing here? She super, gets really fucking scared. Super like, fucking lucky, by the way. He just pops out in the cornfield. Like, if that wasn't Pocahontas there, if that was um, the guy she was supposed to marry, like, he would have been dead in two seconds, right? Which, I don't know. Which would have been better. <laughs> Historically, yeah. um, where are we at here? Um, but then she's like, "You're gonna get in trouble," and that's right. when she goes to Kokoa. Yeah, and she tells Kokoa that Pocahontas is in trouble. Which honestly, like Kokoa, she's really just not that into you. Like, let's right. relax. Yeah, for sure. Um, they go off to the waterfall and uh. They, but they can't think like that because tradition has like conditioned their mind. Right, right. Yeah. He thinks he's yeah. gonna mar- he marry just Pocahontas, and that's that he's what, marry Pocahontas what he's supposed he to be. To. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what. Yeah, oh, 100%. which is what's so sad. Yeah. About it all. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. It's so, and like, it's just can... programmed into their brains that, like, oh, yeah, he likes her, so he's going to marry her. And it's programmed to women say, thinking to just be like, yeah. say no. Yeah. That's such a, can, like, a uh, recurring theme in these Disney, like, classics as well. The, um, you know, the, the, the princess nun. being the first one to, like, buck the tradition and being like, no, I'm not going to do the prearranged shit. I don't care. Like, uh, like Jasmine is like, bring me all the fucking suitors you want. Like, I'm gonna find someone for myself, right? Yeah. And you go girl. yeah. And then then being like the first woke person in the village seems to be yeah. like a, a recurring kind of theme, right? But Gabrielle 
goes and tells Coquim. She and snitches. Then, she and snitches. Then she snitches. Also, John Smith goes back really briefly, and then Ratcliffe tells Thomas to follow him. Right. So then they go meet up at the waterfall where they first made eyes at each other so that they can bone a little bit, I yeah, think. They, I think they bone down, They're probably. planning on slipping each other the cheeky finger. Like. At least a cheeky <laughs> finger. Yeah. So yeah. they go back there. Coco M follows, and he goes fucking nuts. Mm-hmm. And the fact that Thomas is following also, and he doesn't know what's going on. Like, he doesn't know that John Smith has already hooked up with Pocahontas, and he doesn't know that they're, like, friends um, and that Cocoa is literally just attacking because he's like this jealous, crazy person, yeah. not just because he's a savage, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Um, he doesn't know anything other than that. Well, he yeah. doesn't know. Cocoa, or no, Thomas, aka Christian Bale, comes back and he sees them. He sees them fighting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and he yeah. shoots him. He shoots him because yeah. he thinks he's like trying to kill his friend. Yeah. And the thing we see right before this is John Smith telling him how to shoot. Right. So it's him very shoot. Yeah. ironic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, and then John Smith is captured. And so that's what happens right? in real life. He got captured, right? He just right? got captured, yeah. And is it John Smith or is it John Rolfe in real life? John Rolfe is the man that Pocahontas married. John Smith did get captured. Oh. Two different Johns. John, I guess, always a common name. Even, we four, had two even 500 John. years ago. Yeah. John, John. And then comes the song that. Savages, savages. Wouldn't be, yeah, it wouldn't be they played on network TV today, I'll tell savages, you. Savages, savages, barely even human. Yeah. Ratcliffe says about these people. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Awful. Yeah. They're, they're humans. What do you mean they're barely even human? They're humans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's problematic. Fu- it's so fucking crazy. We're not going to get too deep into that no. because it's so intense. Well, it's obviously yeah. like the proof is in the pudding. Like, it's yeah. obviously so fucked. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. fucked. We don't even need to get into yeah. it because yeah. it is so fucked. Yeah. Like, it's just absolutely. But anyways, but the, I didn't realize that the, the aboriginals is... are singing back as well, saying yeah. that the white men are savages as well. Because they are. Well, they, no, are. they are. They're not they wrong. Are. They, they are savages. savages. Oh, yeah. but yeah. that's the irony in Pocahontas. It's kind of like a battling song and they're both like prepping, like being like, all right, fight is coming. It's wartime. We're going to go for it. The aboriginals are going to um, execute, execute JS. JS. Yeah. Which but JS the, uh, realistically didn't do anything wrong except for hook up with the chief's daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah in, the in the movie, on the basis of the movie. Yeah, in yeah. the movie that we watched, which is yeah. what we're reviewing. Yeah. So, like, in the cartoon, yeah. he didn't really do Sorry. much wrong. No, 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 that's yeah. okay. <laughs> so then it's he, a I deep just discussion. Like, up on, like, the real story. It's yeah, yeah, it's oh really God. depressing. I know. It's hard to watch this really movie depressing. and not just think about... Just knowing what happened. As an adult, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's hard to watch it and not think about all the, the like, the real factual <laughs> stuff, right? But anyways, they're um, about to execute... Uh, John Smith and then Pocahontas charges in and gets in the way puts her head on top of his I would do that and uh, saves his mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. and then pretty much at the exact same time the colonizers show up and uh, have a little Mexican standoff a little bit like they're all pointing guns and arrows at each other and then they um uh, is this me pointing a gun? That's you pointing a gun? This is me holding an arrow. Kaylee uh, is holding an arrow right now. Jesus. So we're basically I'm demonstrating right it. Right. You're in the crossfire. You're right JS! In the way. <laughs> yeah. You're basically JS! Yeah. <laughs> what did you right here? What's this say? It oh, says. Yeah, Radcliffe. Yeah. So then. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Pocahontas puts her head down, everyone realizes, like, oh, like we're not so bad like we should all be friends da, da, da. but Ratcliffe is so crazy about getting the gold that he still yeah. wants to kill um, Pocahontas' tribe yeah and takes the shot he so takes shoot. the shot yeah he shoots and he yeah. hits JS because he pushes the, the chief out of the way right yeah. oh, which, oh, is, so which is so good so, yeah. like, which I'm sure is not happened. what happened in real life no but, totally. um, but so that's very like that's the happiest ending you could ask for out of that disgusting debacle. Yeah, yeah. But that's sure. why that's the Disney movie version, right? Like, yeah. yeah. 
what happened in real life is terrible, but in the Disney movie version, it's actually a happy ending. Yeah, which mm. is fun. Not in a perverted and way. And then all the other, like, colonizers, the English, realize that they're fucked. And they like, realize that Rockcliffe is fucked, too. Yeah. Like, why the fuck did you just shoot him? Yeah, they realize that the whole situation like, is like, no, we don't need him. to be, we don't need to be aggressive. Like, these people aren't aggressive towards us. And it seems like they come around. Which is definitely not what and happened in he real says, life. I didn't mean to shoot him. I meant... He just jumped into it. Yeah. But it's you like, meant to shoot someone. You meant to shoot. Like, that's yes, the psychopath. Main, that's the main point that the, his troops are laying down <laughs> anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not great. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then we see JS kind of getting loaded back on, like like, on a journey. And they're kind of leaving. Going back to get him Which medical treatment. Which in real life. Yeah, didn't, didn't happen. happen. But anyway, yeah, in the movie, um, they're going to leave, and they're talking about, oh, do you think he can make it? Like, yeah. no, I don't. And yeah. they're trying to take him back, and he's like, no. She said she would come, and she shows up with the whole tribe. Right. She shows up, and they give him all these like herbs and everything to like save him. And they have this like really passionate makeout, like cartoon makeout, yeah. which Kaylee made a really good point actually, like. Uh, it kind of in other cartoons looks like they're kind of just smushing their flat faces together. This right. is like a make a legit like so 3D. like yeah. like it's like very 3D. like her Botoxy looking lips or like yeah. this on his and it's like <laughs> it's intense and that's yeah. in front of everyone too. Me and Lucas don't even kiss in front of people, so <laughs> that must be love. Yeah, and then. But it's um, all over now. <laughs> And then as the uh, as the boat is sailing away, we see a huge rush of colored leaves go and kind of push the sails further and further. But right. the whole thing is she has the choice. He's saying he wants to stay. She's mm. saying she wants to go. And he's like, she goes, no, this 18-year-old girl, which in real life, 18-year-old girls are crazy. I'm still crazy. So I can't imagine yeah. being like, yeah. if he's like, I want to stay, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, stay. Yeah. You're staying. What? Yeah. Thanks. You're mine forever, sucker. So true. That would be me. Yeah. But she's like, no, you have well, to like, go back. They can heal him. They have yeah. shamans and shit. Oh, God. What? All I'm right. just saying. They have the needs or the, the stuff to heal him. Yeah, oh, yeah. They could definitely do something for him, right? Yes. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I wasn't saying anything bad. No. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, so that pretty much con- concludes the review of the movie. And we just think it's a fucked up movie. No, and it it, it is hard it's, watching this movie not as thinking an about adult. not thinking about the craziness that or, or not the craziness the fucked up shit that they gloss over, right? This and obviously no it's a kids movie. And but like why? we said, they can't. Again, why would they make a kids movie out of this? And when we were like, obviously, we look up the the dates when these movies were made. But looking back on it, I thought like, oh yeah, like you know, Aladdin, Lion King, yeah, those are '90s movies. But Pocahontas, that's probably like, you know, like around Dumbo. Like yeah, I thought it was older. It's not. It's 1995. It was way, way older than it actually is. 1995. That's the, maybe that's one of the most recent ones we've done in these ten episodes. You right? Yeah, I just had a bit of a burp. A bit of a burpy coming up. Um. So at the end of every episode, we always like to choose best song, which we mm-hmm. already kind of said, uh, which is "Colors of the Wind." No doubt, like hands down, "Colors of the Wind" is amazing. That's that, the best song for this sure. This song, this movie actually has a really good soundtrack. Don't get me wrong, Savages is a fucked up song, but it's catchy yeah. as fuck. And the digging for gold and just around the river bend, like there's lots of good songs. Colors of the Wind, best song by far. By the best song. far. Yeah, it's the only one that. Uh, Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? No, yeah. I can't paint for shit, Pocahontas. Like if you ask anyone to name a song from Pocahontas, they say Colors of the Wind. That right? is so true. Yeah, That's, it's it's got to be it's, it's got to like be number theme. one. Then Molly's new category that we're doing is uh, Mary Fuck Kill. And this week, it's... Um, Kokuam. Kokuam, JS, John Smith, and Thomas. Who do, you th- who do you think goes where? Oh, my God. I wrote that down, and I didn't even think. I think Mary Kokuam. Really? Because he's very... 
And he, I think Somebody I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna kill Thomas. Yeah, I think killing Thomas is the but right choice. But he's so innocent. He has no. He's so innocent and annoying, and like, ugh, no, life. I'm just gonna kill you. You're <laughs> annoying. Um. So Mary Coquin because he's so like, <clears throat> like, he's like about his woman. You know what I mean? And I think, uh, just fuck John Smith because it's literally just like a lust thing. Okay, I think, I don't know, it's kind of difficult because you don't want to marry John Smith or Thomas because Cocoam can obviously provide for you better, right? Um, but Who at the same time, like, Cocoam is obviously, like, the most jacked of them, right? So why wouldn't he be the fuck option? Are you going to fuck him? No, I think... <laughs> No, no well, I mean, like, choice no, wise. I think, I think it's um, Mary Coquam. Maybe. So you agree with me then? Maybe kill John Smith and fuck Thomas just because. Thomas is probably a virgin! You're gonna take his virginity? Well, John Smith has definitely fucked He's a lot fucked. of people. John Smith has fucked. And this is what in the, 16, and this is in the 1600s thinks. when, like. Shit was gross, so... Kaylee, what do you think? Mary fuck, kill, Coco, um, um, John Smith, and Thomas? Well, I just thought I would marry Thomas. Kaylee's gonna I marry so Thomas. I feel so bad for him because he's so innocent. He needs a strong woman to direct him in, like, the right light. Like, he has no I fucking deal what's going on. Mm-hmm. So I would do that. You'd marry him. Yeah, and he's, like, Thomas? honestly the most yeah. good-looking cartoon out of all of them, in That's my right. No, so that's 100% I would, I would right. I would be able to fuck him every day if I married him. <laughs> all right. then, Who are you just gonna fuck, though? I'd probably just fuck John Smith. Right? And then... Kill you kill Cocoa! Wow. Wow. That's a, like, I think yours is better than mine. You're no gonna idea. fuck busted ass Owen animated Owen Wilson. I said I would fuck him too. Wow. He's just like he's just like eye candy. Like you're just gonna fuck him and chuck he him. He is eye candy, he is. But for some reason I find Thomas so good looking. Have you heard of the fucking Chuck? <laughs> That's what you do with John Smith. You fuck him and chuck him. And you pray and spray. See ya later, yeah. pray and spray. And then no, all- not with that. With your clothes. Well, back then, you <laughs> had no choice. Oh, God. <laughs> You're right. Oh, my God. So valid. <laughs> and then Nara- and our, our real MVP. Who do you think is the real MVP? No, oh, wait. I want to go first. You go first, yeah. Because I know yours is better. We write this down, and then we, like, kind of tell each other why. And I was like, fuck! After! I think it's Grandmother Willow, because she kind of just gives everybody the wisdom. She lets Pocahontas know that she, like, thinks that the white men are there, but she knows this one guy is there to, like, be with her. Like, she gives her that wisdom, and she actually is the one who says, you need to go look up here, and she alerts Pocahontas about the boats coming in. So I think that she... Yeah, so I think she's the real MVP. That's a good one. Yeah, she kind of saves. No, I like it. I like that argument, yeah. So Kelly and Lucas agreed, so they should probably just get married instead of us. No, but what (laughs) what Kaylee actually originally suggested, and then what I really liked and thought was a great suggestion was the colored leaves which are also like the spirit of Pocahontas's mother as the MVP because they kind of guide Pocahontas mm, in every major one. decision that she makes. I'm so deep. You're so deep. <laughs> Especially um, and then another key moment is um, after Pocahontas is ready to sacrifice herself um, her dad is this. hella hella pissed and and like and ready. And then he feels the and colors of the, the wind. The colored leaves come yeah. through the colors of the wind, and then he changes his mind, and that changes the whole what what would be a very violent outcome in the movie changes to a more peaceful outcome, which is obviously not what happened in real life. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a really good that's a really good choice. As much yeah. as I think I'm right most of the time. I said, um, I said, Grandmother Willow, but I think your guys' choice has a fighting chance as well. Yeah. I think they kind of tie into each other. They do a they little totally bit, yeah. Do. They, no, do. they totally do because even Grandmother yeah. Willow says that she knew her mother because she was always right. just like, "You remind me of your mother." Okay, right. can I mother. just can I just say that Grandmother Willow reminds me of my grandma? Yeah, you did say that. Yeah, and she, even Kaylee, Kaylee agrees because Kaylee knew my grandma. Like on my dad's side, we're related through my mom and her dad. 
But on my dad's side, Kaylee's like, yeah, she totally reminds me of your grandma. Like, just her face and the way she talks. <laughs> she reminds me of my grandma yeah. so much. Just her voice. Yes! Um, she's Reen or Renee. <laughs> Reen! <laughs> if my sisters are watching, they know. And then the last thing that we like to hit on every week is is our more or less. Yeah. And I think for more is we definitely need to see more truth. Right, more of the more of, what? of actually, Pocahontas essentially got raped and left with uh, ten years old. Obviously, yeah. the if we see more truth, it's not a kids' movie anymore. But you know what but, I mean, like oh my god, I shouldn't say we need to see of her. That's no, 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 no. But you but know what I need, mean. We need more yeah. truth in the movie. Yes. In, in general, in whatever so way it could have come. That's not what happened. Um, and we couldn't Can I have some ice. Um, and what we need to see less of is, I like, I think one or two scenes with... Um, I also think we need to see more of Grandmother Willow. More of Grandmother Willow, yeah, too. Dude. Yeah. For some reason, when yeah. I was a kid... Like, you thought she was I such a big was, part, yeah, and she's barely yeah, in it. Yeah, she's barely in it, yeah. Her. I love and her. who's the guy who takes the shot again? What's Thomas. Name? We need to see less We need to see Thomas. less Thomas. I we agree. need We need one, maybe two scenes of Thomas, not four or five or six or whatever, right? Like... Just Less show that Thomas. he's there and he's like a young dude that doesn't really know the ropes yet. Another thing I think we like, need to see more it. of is Percy. More Percy. He's so cute. We can always get more dogs. I really like fuck. I mean flick. <laughs> flick, yeah. <laughs> Kaylee loves fuck. <laughs> All right. Well, that's episode 10. I hope 10? you guys enjoy. I know Pocahontas is a little bit controversial, so we yeah. were a little bit nervous to do this when we've been drinking. <laughs> um, but I enjoyed it. It's a good movie. Like, don't get me wrong, it's entertaining, I feel but like just the the message yeah. is just very wrong. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, it is, and it's totally misconstrued. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's just not the truth. So, like, like Lucas said, we need yeah. to see more of the just truth. Like, we need to see more of the truth in this movie. So we will see you again not next week, but the week after. We are counting down to our wedding. Yeah. And I'm very excited about what's happening on our next episode. And Uh-oh. as always, um, download the episode, like, and subscribe to all of our social media, drinking at Drinking with Disney, at Drinking and, underscore Disney, um, and you'll find us on pretty much all no. of the platforms. Uh, and uh, as always, we'll see you later. And cheers. <laughs>